The best preparation for the future is to live as if there were none. Albert Einstein Yo, what up? Welcome to another vlog, and welcome to my channel. My name is Mr. Ryan. For those of you that don't know, I'm here with another vlog coming at you all. I'm here hanging out. Got me some water. You guys didn't see already. And I'm just going to go out and about today. And you guys are going to come along with me as usual. So this vlog is not really going to be planned out. And I'm going to do whatever I want because this is my video and my channel. Hey, so let's go, let's go, let's go. Yo, what is up, Mesa? I'm feeling a little peckish, so I'm going to try this place out. It looked pretty good and... I'm craving me some tacos, so let's go, let's go, let's go. Got me some street tacos, some chips, and a nice Coke. I don't drink soda often, but today is just one of those days, man, so I'm gonna dig in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I have no idea where the day has gone. It seems like I was eating tacos this afternoon, I was getting water, I was running errands, and next thing you know, BAM! The day has gotten away from me. But now, I am heading to North Phoenix, man. I'm gonna go check out some tacos. Uh, I was, I was, um, what was I doing? Oh yeah, I was, uh, I was going through my Google Maps and it recommended this place and I'm like, oh, no way, it's all about North Phoenix. So, I was like, ah, oh, what the hell, man. I'll go out there to check out some tacos. Because, you know, I always like to travel out for some good food. And there are some places around here. But it feels like I need to get away from my neck of the woods and try a different neck of the woods. So, <laughs> I'm at a different part of the Phoenix. So, I'm going out to North Phoenix. I forgot what the place was called. But I'm going to take you guys along with me. And, you know what? I, if some of you don't know, I do have like a sticker of my username on my on my vehicle, and I totally forgot I had that there, and I was gonna take it off today. And while I was getting a drink over at 7-Eleven, someone waved me down, and he's like, "Man, hey, are you a YouTuber?" I panicked in, and I was like, "Yeah, I'm a YouTuber." And he's like, man, what kind of content do you use? Well, or what kind of content do you do? I'm like, uh, I just do uh, everyday vlogs and I do cooking lives every now and then. He's like, man, that's so cool, but I can't seem to find your username. And I'm like, are you are you sure? It's Mr. Ryan, plain simple. And he's like, yeah, man, I can't find it. And for some reason, people aren't able to find me on the YouTube. So I told him what my uh, YouTube URL is. And it was YouTube dot com uh, dash c dash mr ryan zero zero nine one so i was like okay i guess that's how people can find me now i don't know if i should change out my sticker or maybe leave it on there for like another month but i'm gonna that made my night you know i was feeling a little cruddy you know i was feeling a little upset and a little not in the right mindset i suppose like in a sad sense you know a little upset but you know that got made my my day you know uh, <laughs> it's weird. It felt like I wanted to be by myself, but you know, that made me smile today. That someone said, "Hey, man, are you a YouTuber?" I was like, "Ah, oh, that that made my day." So shout out to that guy. I didn't get his name, but yeah, shout out to him. He made my day. But yes, I am now heading out to get some tacos. I know I only eat once a day, but I was feeling a little peckish, and I'm like, "Ah, uh, I think I want to go get me some tacos from that place." So. Also, randomly, I drove all the way around the valley just because I felt like I, I felt like I just needed to get out and about. So I just went out and drove all the way from from uh, Apache Junction to West Valley, where Westgate is, Arrowhead Mall. Then I came back home, 
uh, filled up my gas and now I'm heading out to North Phoenix again you know what randomly I almost drove all the way when I got when I was going west on um, going toward West Phoenix on the freeway I was like I wonder if I should just go to California from here because I've never been to California and I, would have, I was like, you know what? I, I don't have any kids at home. I don't have nobody waiting for me at home. So, you know what? I think I should. But I'll, I'll, I'll probably do it. Not now. I mean, not at the moment. But I will do like a random road trip. But right now, I feel like I'm feeling a little peckish. And I could use me some tacos. So, let's go, everybody. Let's go. All right, we are here. It is called City Tacos, carne asada, 100% El Carbion, and it's open. And we're on Ninth Street and Bell Road, so we're gonna go check it out. Let's go. And there's the menu. Really good. See the pictures on the top. It really looked. Everything looked really good, and I had to have it. So. As you can see, everything looks really good from the menu, so that's why I came here. And if you guys are beer drinkers, they also have beer here. So, pretty good place, and it was recommended to me on my Google map, so yeah, so come check it out. And this is my meal, man. Everything looked really good, and I honestly didn't even know what to get, so I just went ahead and got a little of everything. And this is all carne asada. And I know I'm not going to touch those uh, peppers because I can't eat hot stuff, but... Overall, it looks everything looks good and it smells really good and everything was meat, made on uh, corn tortillas, so... I'm about to dig in. I know I'm not going to finish everything, but everything just looks so really good and... I really wanted to try a little of everything. And of course, you can't forget the Coke. So yeah, I'm going to dig in, man. And we are out. Yo! <laughs> man! It is the next day. It is the next morning, as you can see. I am now heading out of Phoenix for maybe a good three hours at the most. I was like, you know what, Ryan, you got to do something today, man. You got to get out and about. You're getting cabin fever here in the valley. So get your ass out and about, man. You're always talking about getting out and about, and here's your chance. So, you know, I, I did like a self-talk to myself last night, and I was like, you got to do something, man. What would Rocky do? Let me tell you what Rocky would do. He would listen to his coach. And his coach would say, You're an animal, Rock. You get him. And you know what? I am an animal. And I'm going to get out and about. And I'm going to get him. And I'm going to get him by going out on this open road today. And before I head out, I got me some Starbies, man. So, we're going to go out and about, man. And I'm going to take you all along with me today. We're going to continue on this vlog today. Today is Sunday and my friend, I'm going to be hanging out with her later. But I know she won't be here till like later on this afternoon. So I got some time to kill and I was feeling very excited this morning. So I was like, ah, oh, what the hell. Might as well, right? Might as well. And I was like, sheesh, come on. You can do it, man. You can do it. It's just right there. So I'm going to be going like two hours outside of Phoenix and I think it's like in a small town I forgot what it's called but it's like a small town uh, in California so we're taking this little trip to California and it's gonna be my first time there so y'all gonna come along with me so let's go Dan let's go Dan I'm searching for life again I'm searching for a new beginning mm -hmm. I'm searching for a real again I'm 
I'm searching for love that never ends. Rain falling off like pain, like the sun breaking through like rain. from space it's like a thrill that fills my heart I'm searching for life again I'm searching for a new I'm at a pilot here at New Hope, Arizona. Pretty good gas prices. Gas price here is $4.59, pretty cool. And I was wondering why it smelled like cow shit. And apparently there's like a dairy farm way over there. I don't know if you guys can see it. Yeah, there's a dairy farm right there and very clean restrooms here. So yep, I'm at a pilot and pretty good. Uh, the Starbucks I got, they added way too much milk and I'm like, ugh, gave me a bit of a stomach ache, but that's all right. Because surprisingly, they had this here. Yerba Mate. I was really happy when I seen this. I was like, man. Because I had bought Yerba Mate last night, but I forgot to bring it with me. And I was thinking about it. I was like, man, I hope one of these gas stations sell uh, Yerba Mate, man. So, yep, I got this. And I thought I'd show you guys where I'm at right now. This is going to be my first stop. And... On my way going that way, I got another stop coming up, and I forgot what that other place is called. I think it's called Courtside, Arizona. So right now I'm at a pilot called New Hope, Arizona. Pretty cool, and thought I'd go ahead and check this place out. So here I am, and we're going to continue on the road, man. Continue on the road. Yep, so I made it to here to Quartzsite, Arizona, man pretty cool still a little bright out but you know I made it here and I'm gonna explore around just a little bit more I'm just right off the road here see pretty small town and pretty cool so you know that's what I'm doing right now and and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and explore around there's like a little monument around here somewhere it has like a cool pyramid shape and it has like a a little history about the town or a little memorial, so I'm gonna go check it out. Let me see if I can find it though. So let's go. Look at this little map too. It says Arizona, Grand Canyon, Monument Valley, Painted Desert, Flagstaff, Sedona, London Bridge, and of course I'm right there. Quartzsite, Arizona. Almost near California. Phoenix, Tucson, Tombstone. Pretty cool. I like that. It's like made out of stone and it's carved in pretty good and that little cool wagon in the background too with the burger king logo wake up with the king 
<laughs> oh man, does anyone remember that commercial? I remember that commercial. So I'm gonna ask around and see where I can find that uh, memorial site. Oh, before I left, I seen right behind it even tells you like how far each place is from, or to Courtside. Pretty cool, it says to Courtside, to Flagstaff, Lake Havasu, Las Vegas, Laughlin, Los Angeles, Phoenix, Tucson, and Yuma. I thought that was pretty cool. Attention to detail and to think I didn't get this before before I left, so that's pretty cool. Here in Quartz Size, Arizona, and this is one of the attractions that that are that is big here, and I thought I'd check it out. The last camp of High Jolly. This pyramid of native stone marks the resting place of High Jolly, a Greek born in Syria, also known as Philip Tedro and Haji Ali. Hai Jolly was hired in 1857 as a camel herder in the United U.S. Army. Short-lived historic camel corpse by Lieutenant Edward F. Beale in his expedition to chart a wagon road across New Mexico and Arizona ending at the Colorado River. In 1861, the Civil War commenced ending the day of the camel corpse. Hai Jolly returned to court site trying his hand at mining, packing, scouting, delivering as a jackass mail, and selling water to travelers. The court site cemetery is named in High Jolly's honor. That's pretty cool. So yeah, I thought I'd come by and check out this place, man. And here's the, here's the cool pyramid. I seen it from my Google Maps and I'm like, ah, I gotta check this place out. So yeah, I guess this is his uh, monument here. Right at here it says, High Jolly Monument has been placed on the National Register of Historic Places by the United States Department of Interior. And as you can see, it's made up of different stone and it's in the shape of a pyramid and it has a camel on top. That's pretty cool. And right here it says, <clears throat> The last camp of High Jolly, born somewhere in Syria about 1828, died at Quartzsite December 16, 1902. Came to this country February 10, 19, or 1856. <laughs> Camel driver, dash packer, scout. Over 30 years, a faithful aide to the U.S. government. Arizona Highway Department, 1935. And you can even put your name right here. Let me see if I can grab a pen real quick. Uh, shoot, I don't got a pen, but I guess people can put like uh, stones and money right here. Oh, see, look, there's a lot of pennies right here. So that's pretty cool. So I wrote a little message on this clipboard. So this is what I wrote. <clears throat> I wrote, Mr. Ryan was here, a explorer, adventurer, knowledge seeker, living life to the fullest. 5 29 2022 20, at 8 a.m. So, if you guys are ever here, you can say you've seen my signature and I will continue exploring anywhere I could. So, this is a pretty cool old monument, and I'm gonna head out now. So, this is pretty cool, and I always like traveling and exploring different places. And this is just right off the road, and I thought I'd come by and check it out. And here's another long message board. I'm going to read it through real quick. It says, Hi Jolly, the famous camel herd with which the name of Hi Jolly is linked constitutes an interesting sidelight of Arizona history. Dot, 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 dot. Jefferson Davis, afterward president of the Southern Confederacy as Secretary of War, approved a plan to experiment with camels for freighting freight and communication in the arid southwest, dot, dot, dot. Major Henry C. Wayne of the United States Army and Lieutenant D.D. D. Porter, later 
a distinguished admiral in the Civil War, visit the Levant with a store ship supply and procured 33 camels which were landed at Indianola, Texas. February 10, 1856, 41 were added to the second voyage, dot, dot, and dot. With the first camels came as caretaker, Haji Ali, whose Arabic name was promptly changed to High Jolly by the soldiers and by this name he began universally known his Greek question mark name was Philip Tedro on the Beale expedition in 1857 to which a wagon rode across Arizona from Fort Defiance to California the camels under high jollies charge proved their worth nevertheless the War Department abandoned the experiment and the camels were left on the Arizona desert to shift for themselves, chiefly roaming this particular section. They survived for many years, cr creating interest and excitement. Officially, the camels' experiment was a failure, but both Lieutenant Beale and Major Wayne were enthusiastic in praise of the animals. A fair trial might have resulted in a complete success so that's pretty cool i know now you guys know a little about arizona history which i thought was pretty cool so if you want to go ahead and read through it you're welcome to you can push pause on your screen or your computer or what have you wherever you're watching from but it's pretty cool and the monument and a little bit of arizona history and of course i'm in a cemetery so i'm not gonna linger around too much and be respectful of all the other grave sites here but i thought i'd just come by and take a look at the main attraction here in quartzsite arizona time to head out man whoa this is pretty cool i didn't know they had this pretty cool uh way in well i'm gonna go here so hold on guys Oh, look at that golden retriever. I know that dog's enjoying the ride. You know, that's pretty cool. I love that. I wish I had a golden retriever. But, you know, dogs are a handful. And, oh, it's so... <laughs> I don't ever use this word often, but that dog is so cute. Look at that. He's sticking his, sticking his uh, nose out the car. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty cute and cool. <laughs> Cool things you see on the road. You know, I think that's pretty cool too. Look at all those trees, man. Like palm trees or... I don't know what kind of trees you call them. They're pretty cool though. I think it's like a farm for these kind of trees. Pretty cool, man. Pretty cool. I had to get the sign on the vlog. Apparently, I didn't even know the sign was very close to the road and I was driving maybe like a good 15, 20 minutes down the road. I was like, where's the sign at? And I had to re-put in my GPS and apparently I passed the sign. So I had to get the sign for the vlog, man. So I was technically in California like a good 20 minutes and I had to get the sign man so pretty cool even though I'm on the other side of the road like see there's a freeway right there the freeway going into California and the freeway going back into Arizona now I just wanted to come out here for a drive to come into California for my first time so this is my first time in California and I'm gonna head back to Cal uh, <laughs> head back to California head back to Arizona because I still got other plans for today and this is like an early morning Sunday drive for me so time to head on back oh I thought that was pretty cool too the Colorado River and it goes all the way down there so I thought I I, I wish I could have checked that out man that would have been really cool I don't think I can get on that side but yeah pretty cool and now we're heading on our way back to Arizona 
Arizona, the Grand Canyon State. And as it, from the background, as you can see, it is really dusty out, man. And there's the sign, man. Welcome to Arizona, the Grand Canyon State. Where all your dreams may come true if you find the Dutchman treasure in Superstition uh, Mountain. <laughs> uh, it's funny. This morning, I was hoping to go with someone. I was like, hey, I texted a few people. I'm like, hey, uh, want to come with me with a random, to a random road trip to uh, California? Just for the fun of it. And I didn't hear no reply, and I, I was a little upset. I'm like, man, no one wants to hang out with me after, after, uh, after I'm always complaining about no one ever hangs out with me. So I took the initiative to text everyone that I know, not 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 that many people, but just the people I know personally. But I was about to, I texted them saying, hey, let's go to let's go to California, not not to Los Angeles, but just like a a small town. Maybe we can get like. Uh, we can get lunch or something, hang out, explore around, and I didn't hear anything, and I was a little upset. I'm like, man, no one wants to hang out with me. And I looked at my messages this morning before I was leaving. I'm like, ah, darn it. <laughs> Apparently, none of my messages went through, so I'm like, ah, I could have hung out with a few people today. We would have vlogged and done more things, but... <laughs> Uh, none of my messages went through. So the moral of the story here is make sure you check your messages. Make sure they say sent. <laughs> oh, man. But, yeah, that's that's my little brain fart I had yesterday. It's really dusty out, though. <clears throat> so that's why I have, a, like, a little bit of a dry cough. And it was nice and clear, but I guess from uh, this side, from by Violet, California, all the way into Quartzsite, uh, Arizona. It's really dusty. The dust is starting to pick up. So I'm trying to make my way back to the valley. So then that way, uh, <clears throat> I don't have my dry cough. But because of all the dust particles in the air, um, I have dry cough. And I'm trying hard not to use my cooler as much. Because if I do, then all the dust particles will come into my car. <clears throat> I don't want to get black lung. A, or what do they call it? Dust lungs? Dust lungs? Is there such a thing? Dust lungs? Or is it black lung? <laughs> Reminds me of that movie Zoolander. He said, hey pop, I think I got the black lung. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. But yep, heading back to Cal uh, Phoenix right now. So let's go, man. So, I made it home and my friend and I were about to go have dinner, but before we have dinner we're going to hang out for a bit, catch up, and I'm making us some hot stickers. Whoa, it's all nice and steamy so it's going to be really good so we're going to we're gonna chew on these, we're going to hang out for a bit and I bought us some uh, pineapple soju, really good but drink responsibly everyone. So we're going to hang out. We're gonna drink a little, not get too tipsy, but you know, just catch up a bit, and that's what the pot stickers are for. So we're gonna enjoy us a nice pre-meal. We're gonna relax a bit, then we're gonna go get some good food. I'm thinking, hopefully, Korean barbecue. <clears throat> Here's my story, it's sad but true, it's about a girl that I once knew, she took my love and ran around. With every single guy in town Whoa, whoa What 
is up everybody it is monday it is memorial day remembering those who have fallen but they are not forgotten so shout out to memorial day and the people that never made it home but their memories will never be forgotten and the service they have provided for this here country uh i'm just here hanging out man playing with good old black betty feeling like a songbird this morning but um <clears throat> i think i caught a cold i'm not sure or i think i just slept weird so my voice is a little cracked a bit and right now i'm waiting for a breakfast place to open up in scottsdale i think they open up at 6 30 and it's five o'clock right now so i get an hour and a half to kill and i'm just here hanging out with you guys it's been a good minute since i got breakfast at this place and i'm gonna film everything and once i get breakfast i'm gonna cut out the vlog because today i'm not gonna be doing much staying in um hanging out and catching up <sighs> excuse me unfortunately i did not get korean barbecue last night because things didn't go according to plan but that's okay eventually maybe next time but i am hungry as a mofo this morning so i'm gonna go ahead and get me some breakfast and we'll see we'll see where it goes from there if i continue on vlogging for today then i just might do that but most likely i might cut out the vlog after breakfast but uh we'll see how i'm feeling if i'm feeling adventurous after this nice meal then i'm gonna take you guys along with me through my memorial day man i feel just so whoa 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 she ran around with every single guy in town dang gotta work on my vocals a little bit more american idol i'm coming i'm just kidding <laughs> oh man but yes we're gonna go ahead and hang out so catch you guys in the flippity flip uh, through a mirror in the ocean to see all that i want to see a major force in my head reflections i caught a heart on the seven seas filled with these memories i let it go it's not my own it don't so night time night time it starts the night time the night time it starts the night time the night time it starts Oh
Okay, we made it here to North Scottsdale. And this is a place I always like coming. They really have really good pancakes and they have good waffles. So let's go and get us some breakfast. Whoop whoop. And here's the menu. A lot of good options. They got pancakes, eggs, Benedict, omelet, French toast, scramblers, fruit, sides, waffles, skillets, and crepes. And a lot of different beverages too from coffee, smoothies. Pretty good place and they even have other things behind the menu. But they open at 6 a.m. and they close at 2 p.m. So it's a lot of cool stuff here and go check this place out if you guys are ever in Scottsdale. One of my favorite go-to places, man. I already know what I'm going to get so I just wanted to take a look at the menu and I'm eating outside too. Pretty nice weather out and I'm going to go ahead and have me some breakfast. <laughs> And this is what I got for breakfast. I got a waffle with blueberries. I got corned beef hatch with the egg on top. Got me some bacon, got me water, and some coffee. And I'm about to dine in. Pretty good environment and it's nice out and I'm enjoying me some breakfast. I'm very hungry so I'm pretty sure I'm gonna eat all this. Let's dig in. Oh man, I got done with breakfast and I am full as a mofo and I was going to close out the vlog but I think I'll keep vlogging. It's going to be one of my longest vlogs ever man. I think it might go up to 40 minutes, maybe even an hour. We'll see because I stuff all of my whole weekend in one vlog. So yeah man, um, I'm going to leave here and I'm going to go home for a bit, charge my phone and it's still a little early, it's about quarter to eight, so I'm still waiting for other places to open. That's if they're open on Memorial Day, but I'm gonna call around and I'm gonna explore more out today and look what I'm jamming to. Of course, I can't turn it up because I don't wanna get copyrighted, but yeah, I'm just here hanging out in Scottsdale, the fancier side of town, and I'm just all cool and classy like that. Hey, why do you think my logo has a raven with a top hat? Because I'm fancy. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But yeah, breakfast was delicious and the service was outstanding. They kept refilling my coffee. They, they checked up on me and they're really nice. So I'll put the link of this restaurant in my description so if you guys want to come by and check it out they have two locations here in scottsdale and this is my favorite one thus far i keep forgetting what street it's on i think it's called rain rainy rainy tree or rain tree or pea tree i don't know <laughs> pea tree land before time it's pea tree <laughs> my mind's wandering off i'm uh but yeah um it's pretty cool and we're gonna I'm gonna head home for a bit charge my phone and we'll wait for other other places to open so We can go on a small adventure on Memorial Day with mr. Ryan. So let's go. Let's go. Let's go So here we are samurai comics. I want to see if there's anything That I need to collect because it's been a while since I updated my comic collection. So let's go inside stop for today Arizona Mills I'm gonna go ahead and get me some juice at this uh, place called Paradise Splash really good stuff so my last stop for today then that's it so let's go every time I come here I always think capitalism and consumerism is thriving within the mall people buying stuff food and everything so there it is uh, Paradise Glass, so we're gonna go check it out. And as you can see, they got all these different flavors. They got banana and cream, horchata, hibiscus and berry. That's the one I normally get, but they're always out. Or they're out right now. Uh, strawberry lemonade. And they got mango, cantaloupe. And the one I got right now is the raspberry lemon mint. Pineapple spinach, pineapple and watermelon. So yeah, pretty cool. And I've been coming here for a while. 
and it says, do not lean on the glass, please. <laughs> but yeah, pretty cool place here, and I've been coming here for a while, so it's pretty cool. So if you guys are ever in Arizona, let's go check it out. It is called Paradise Splash, man. So go check it out. Yo! What up? <clears throat> I just got done at the mall. I got me some juice, man. Really good, really good. You know what? I think this is the only reason I come to this mall is for this juice right here. It's really good and I like it. So I bought that and let me show you my other haul I bought at the comic store. Uh, they only had a few of these and I bought the one that was in mint condition and it's pretty cool. It is uh, Carnage number one and I like the artwork of it too so I had to have it. I'm like man that looks really cool. So I bought this right here. I'm like man and I got the good I got the good uh, print of it because the other one the page was ripped and the other one had like fingerprint cheeto marks or whatever like fingerprint things on there so I wasn't having it I was like hell no give me the good one and they gave me the good one but uh I was hoping to get the Punisher one but they didn't have any Punisher comics they did have a few but it's not the one I was looking for so I probably had to go onto eBay and find someone that's selling the Carnage number one or Punisher number one so yeah but thank you everyone for joining me for the past few days I know I smushed a bunch of <laughs> I smushed three days worth of content into one vlog so so I was like ah oh, what the hell might as well do something and I made a long vlog and this is gonna be my first ever long vlog so you better get comfortable and you better watch the whole thing and I think that's everything don't forget to click the like button, comment, share, and subscribe if you have not already. I would greatly appreciate it, and it helps me and my channel. So, until next time, everyone. I'm out.